kid. So I actively like I work against it. I'm also a veteran. I'm very blunt with my words. Um, and like that's also something that I'm known for online. It's just a personality thing, right? It's like if I, if I wanted to be mean, like, you know, we, we know how girls could be mean, okay? So, like, I promise I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just a very direct individual. But you were you said earlier what my advice would be to a woman who's on 27 and who's been on Tinder. Like, my immediate thing is get off of Tinder. Like, stop doing that stuff. And also, when it comes to um, sexuality, like, there's this concept of pair bonding. So there are promiscuous people that are happy to, like, smash and pass, and they're cool with it. But they're at the extremes of sociosexuality. That's not most people. Like, most of the men that we sleep with, we probably want relationships with. Do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Right, like... Personally, often, I would agree. Yeah. 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 Do, you, do you guys think that... I agree, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think that men, when they're sleeping with women, do you think, like, most of them want relationships with the women that they're sleeping with? Or do you think that, you know, they're just trying to get their rocks off? I think it's 50-50, honestly. Okay. What do you guys think? What was the question? Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. So I was saying that I think that women, because mm-hmm. the majority of us are, per, per David Buss and his work, he's like, a, I think, an evolutionary psychologist. So like most of us are long-term mating strategists, right? Mm-hmm. So most of the guys that we sleep with, we probably want to date. Do you think that most of the women, that men who have access to women that they sleep with, do you think that they want to date those women? I have dated every single guy I think that I've slept with. Mm -hmm. I have like consistently I mean it's not always beneficial but I've like dated around and been exclusive with every single guy that I've Mm -hmm. ever slept with um I would say it kind of is just the kind of guy you're talking about it (laughs) it's just kind of the guy you're talking to it kind of just depends what you're looking for and what kind of guy you attract or what kind of guy you go for well what do you what do you think about like the guys like the guys that can sleep with women most of the women they sleep with you think they want to date them I honestly say it depends who you pick. Like, I don't know. I, I would say in my personal experience, yeah, every guy that I've ever had sex with has wanted to date me. Okay. Well, I mean, then you're, then you're good at, like, you're good at picking. What do you guys think about, like, guys who have access? No. <laughs> most, most guys, they just want to, like, smash and just go. Like, they don't care. Yeah. Like, you're just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? I completely agree. I think generally guys don't, aren't looking for a relationship. At our age, I think... That yeah, they're know. really just looking to sleep around, you know. Yeah. It's I'm not saying that it's right, and just because I think if we sleep with them, I don't think that we're wrong. wrong. But I th- and I think it's more of the guy's fault. Like a girl can be wanting to completely date a guy and sleep with them, but that doesn't mean the same for the guy. You honestly, I've had. I don't want to keep saying situationships, but I've had relationships with people where I'm way more into it than the than the guy which Mm -hmm. kind of which is sad but I guess it's I don't know it's whatever but I think guys are more looking to sleep around definitely in college what do you you think yeah I'm I'm thinking probably 90 percent of single guys sex Mm -hmm. is just you know a physical act that feels good whereas for women it's an emotional me it's a spiritual like it's a deep thing it's a sacred thing I think it's the most intimate thing you can do with another Mm -hmm. person other than you know feel love for each other in yeah a different way but yeah no i think that Mm -hmm. the majority of dudes are not do not value the act of sex the way that women do well that's a pretty profound thing what you just said Mm -hmm. i mean which which part well that what you just said okay um in terms of how you value sex i think uh probably i would say even Mm -hmm. a lot of people your age would not say that absolutely so, i think that you our, thank you i think that um it is so wrong in today's um not only media but just our culture the whole you know sexual freedom and sexual revolution like there's there's certainly you know positive sides to what that has done it's you know i don't necessarily think slut shaming in any way is good i think that mm-hmm. we live in america which is the biggest gift any of us could have and we all have the freedom to do whatever we like but I believe that, you know, valuing yourself and your body is, gosh, more important than anything. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm totally with you on that. So, like, um, so the problem with if we get caught up, right, in being convinced that we're short-term mating strategists, which is, like, the small pool of men and women who can smash and pass and they're content, if we get convinced and we're actually long-term mating strategists, like, we might end up alone from bad habits you see what i'm saying so like that's why i would tell that 27 year old who Mm -hmm. says like i'm on the apps 
first thing, you need to get rid of it. You need to stop having um, promiscuous mm -hmm. sex, okay? <laughs> um, and it's because... Yeah, sorry. 99 cents. This Generation Z is ultra sensitive to negative feedback. It's a huge issue and must be changed. Dot on this panel, I see undeveloped 18 years old brains who are in dire need of a relationship mentor, or it will spiral down a bad road. Girls read David Boss Evolution of Desire. Do you guys have a response to Stephen Crow? I think that we're that our generation is extremely too sensitive. I oh. fully agree with that. Right. I feel like there a lot go. of people can almost. I hopefully I think that everyone can. I don't know that. anyone who calls calls our generation tough. Yeah, and I, like I feel like yeah. I'm sorry. I'm gonna interrupt. No, go ahead. I feel like I'm getting called out because I was like, listen, I I think you're being a little condescending speaking to us like this, but I am fully with you. I totally agree, and I, you know, I I can confidently say. Not many people in my generation could grow up in the household I grew up in. You know, I was not beaten, but my parents were not soft on me. Mm -hmm. And I am as well a blunt individual. So if I feel like I'm being spoken down to, I'm going to speak up to you because I totally respect you and I think you're super smart and I'd like to have a cordial conversation. And I think that you're looking at us as, you know, Gen Z, who I think that I am, you know, would not morally fall into that category it, I, I wish I could articulate that better that's not correct but you know if we're gonna have this conversation I totally agree but it's just the you know is the you and them and so I agree Gen Z needs to hear all of this but this panel I think it's more of a conversation than a than a um, lecture Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I definitely. <laughs> so I just graduated undergrad, too, in May. Right? Congratulations. So, thank you. Yeah, I have a degree in, uh, in anthropology. But I also saw, like, kind of the stuff that was going on in modern dating. And so, like, you know, you guys are just so beautiful. And if you don't figure out. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, you I are, mean, too. I, no, I genuinely mean it. And, you know, like, being pregnant with a daughter has really made this, uh, like, a reality check. Because I had a bias um, in favor of men. For like a really long time because I also work predominantly in men's issues and men have been very good to me in these last couple of years in my life but when I found out when I had my ultrasound and there wasn't any dingleberries on my baby I was like <laughs> oh crap like what are women's issues again and this is because I'm married to a very good man he treats me very well so I've just been protected from a lot of things I would say for a, over what's well, gonna be two years soon but I've been married for a year I just had my first anniversary so now I'm like being faced with this stuff and so when you guys are talking about like these guys that are like using you and it look like it's a small pool of men we know this right but when you're saying this stuff i'm like oh, no like i don't want this for my kid <laughs> you know um and because when you guys talk about these failed breakups and stuff because i'm a i'm a woman too so i just think about all the times that i've cried over guys or, and I know you guys have done it too, like, you know, 2 a.m., like, I hate this guy, I wish he was dead. But it's just because I think we don't understand how they work, you know? So th that's all I really do. And it, it can sound like blunt and condescending, but I'm also just being faced with this, I have to figure out the world for my baby girl. And, oh, oh no, she's not gonna be in California. I'm sorry, UC Santa Barb, like, no, thank you. Like, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna stay in the Midwest. Like, no, you got me messed up, no, no. Yeah, well, so UC, UCSB, it's, uh frequently ranked as 